actually what we do need is a high school so that uh, we can get the population a little more educated because at the moment they're just getting primary school education which as far as I can gather means that they're just like learning their ABCs and stuff which um, I'm not knocking the ABCs I mean I've been using them my whole life but uh, we do need to teach them a little bit more than that we need to teach them how to not, like, spend all their city's money and leave them with only, like, five grand in the bank and all kinds of problems queuing up. I mean, that's what we need to teach them. Oh, my God, I can hear the emergency services. They're just flying about the, the town doing their jobs. Um, people milling about going to work. Buildings just popping up all over the place. Oh, look, Big Bite. Is that a new Big Bite or is it the same one? I think it might be the same one. I was looking at before. The old one was over here, but this is the new location. Um, that's cool. How are the uh, Shelbyville commercial enterprises coming along? Oh, look at this. It's like some sort of franchise has brought up the, bought up the whole area. It's all the exact same. Sally's. Another Sally's and another Sally's over here. Whoever this Sally is, she's just, she's got the big bucks. I want her in my town. And another big bite. There we go. The franchise continues. Um, what's this? Go nuts for donuts. I think I will. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Oh, wow. And there's the donut van chasing after some guy's car. Who is he? It's um, a sports car driven by Charles Jackson. He's like, leave me alone. I'm on a diet. And the donut truck was driving after him like, never. Try a triple chocolate cream. Um, digital watches make a comeback this season. Yesterday's future is today's vintage, say fashion designers. Okay, wow. This little bird is completely clued in on what's going on. Um, he just really knows his stuff. Okay, we're, we're up to 12 grand. I think I can afford something new for town. They need an industrial zone. They need more industrial zones. But we also need schools. Um, we need high schools we still can't afford they're 24 grand do you believe that 24 grand for a high school that's a bit ridiculous okay it's ridiculously cheap in real world terms but still um is this oh the, i love how the dump just fits exactly into that square of land if for nothing else i just i am in love with whoever made this game that is just my dream. Okay, this little diagonal edge, that's going to annoy me. But, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I can forgive it. Anyway, let's industrial this area. Do I have to pay for these? No, I think zoning is free. So that's going to be handy. Um, do they need water over here? They probably do. I don't think they're going to get enough. There we go. How do you like that? Frank's Fish Stick Factory. You're a bit far from the sea, Frank. No offence. I mean, okay, maybe they can get fish from the river, but it's still a bit of a trek. They should have set up down here somewhere. Um, how's the old power plant going? Oh my god. Look at the pollution. I presume this is pollution. The grass has actually turned purple. This is meant to be coal power. What, what kind of coal are you using that does that? The wrong kind, obviously. God. It's like they're burning uranium in a coal furnace or something. I don't know if that would have a bad effect. I'm not a nuclear technician. But uh, if I was, I would probably be very worried. Let's demolish this house. It just doesn't seem to be used by anyone. Um, yeah. Could we fit in a high school there? We'll, we still don't have enough money. I'm going to have to wait another couple of hours and just... Um, Oh, watch as these places spring up. If we want to keep up with all this demand, we're eventually going to just fill up this area just really, really quickly. Because look, we've already taken in uh, these two areas down here. They're pretty full. But the handy thing in this game is you can buy land. So while it looks like we have a small area to work with here, we've actually got this whole region to build in eventually. Just um, we have to unlock it later on. Oh my god, we have crime up here. Shelbyville is descending into complete anarchy. Um, what's this? The pharmacy is abandoned. 
why are people abandoning the pharmacy? They're giving up on modern medicine. They're throwing themselves in with um, all of this new agey stuff and their pharmacy has gone out of business. I'll have That's because we don't have a high school to educate them better. Don't worry, we will soon. Um, I want to build on that mountain. I wonder is that in our buying range? That would be kind of nice to have. I think I see a train track over there as well or something. That's very cool. Maybe I'll expand that direction rather than uh, this direction. I also really like that bridge over here. Yeah, that's the way to go. Up into the hills. Um, not yet, though. We can't afford it yet. Oh, we can nearly get that high school. Soon. Soon. Um. Oh, wow. It's so busy here. Look at all the big trucks loading and unloading crap. How's the dump going? What's the capacity like? Um, 18% full already. Oh my god. I'm going to have to uh, buy a few more of those, I think, eventually. But, well, for now it's okay. Like, we're not filling it up that quickly, but... Um, I don't want to have rubbish overflowing onto the streets. I don't want everywhere to end up looking like the coal plant. Um, I need to get a police station and school and stuff over in Shelbyville as well. But they're kind of my second priority. I mean, the real priority is this place over here. The nameless town. Um, maybe I should district it in anyway and just leave it with a default name. And you guys can name it yourselves, like, in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna... It'll have a default name here. But you guys can rename it. Whoever comes up with a better one. This is temporarily called My Heights. Oh, Ivy Heights. Oh, okay, that's reasonable. I can zone it for forest industry. Oh my god, look at this. These are just districts, but I can have a generic industry district. I can have a farming industry, forest industry. I can erase a district. That's so cool. Um... Right, wow. Another one closed. M and H Clothing. I think it's in the same place the pharmacy was. That's just a bad place for business, I think. Oops. Um, I slipped and deleted the building next door as well. I wonder how often that happens in real life. A little bit worrying. Um, let's stick down a high school anyway. Somewhere accessible to all. Over here seems kind of good. It gets this whole estate in. I know I'm going to have to demolish some houses, but you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, and you can't make a high school without making a few people homeless. So, there we go. High school needs a name as well. It's costing me 560 a week. God. Better be worth it. But of course it will be, because an education is just priceless. You can't put a cost on it. Population's gone down by 14. I think that's because of all these houses I demolished to make the high school, but it's okay. Can I build a road here? No. Okay. That is not a roadable area. Um, let's just build, make this road turn around a bit, I think. If we can join this road up over here, maybe. I know it might mean demolishing someone else's house, but, uh, you know sacrifices must be made um we're gonna join on join on there yeah look at that people hate it but it's for their own good in the long run and i guess we can't fit a road there but what we can put in that's a two-lane gravel road that's not what i'm looking for you're able to build um these little gravel paths a pavement path or a gravel one um Actually, let's go back to normal speed. I think if I put a little pavement path from here... Oh, I don't want to demolish people's houses. Um, but I want people to be able to cross through here. Look, whoever lives here, sorry. You're just, you just happen to be in the way. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of you. Oh, I think it's crossing over with the school and it's causing trouble. Um... Oh my god. I'm having to demolish houses all over the place. And I don't want to. I really don't. But it just has to be done. Uh, let's dezone these. Maybe that's what I need to do. And uh, 
Oh, where was that path? Oh my god. Will you stop building a house there? I'm trying to build a path. Space already occupied. What's occupying it? Oh, I think it... Oh, that was the problem. It can't go on the road. It has to specifically go next to it. And... Oh, the houses are saved, I guess. Oh no, that's that's the wrong kind of zone. These should be residential. But yeah, now people can take a shortcut through here. And can arrive over here. In this uh, lovely area. Amazing. Okay, this place has gone out of business as well. The drugstore 2.0. Oh my god, no one wants medicine in this town. Their health is going to be hitting the floor. They're all going to be dying all over the place. The dump is going to be overflowing with their bodies and their, I don't know, whatever else, their um, discarded bandages and things. Oh. This is just a pain. I need more industry still. This town is just hungry for industry. They want industry everywhere. Can I build highways? Oh wow, I can build a big six lane road. Or a four lane road. There's a four lane road, would it fit along here? Oh, I guess not. I guess I'd probably have to demolish a few things. But maybe in the future. Um, for now, why don't I... Oops. I think I might have placed that a little wrong but there we go okay that's a bit of a crazy junction now but I don't know we can live with it oh I definitely need more roads through this this is uh, looking a little bit silly okay and one along here there we go now where, where was that industry stuff there it is um Oops. What's this? D zone. Okay. No, that, that's the wrong tool entirely. Perfect. That enough industry for you? You guys happy with that? Um, of course, industry needs water. Everyone needs water. Uh, let's hook it up. Hook me up, Scotty. Um, space already occupied. Okay, there we go. Brilliant. There's no water over here now. Oh my god, these people. What are you, what do you need it for anyway? It must be boiling a lot of pasta or something. Or taking a lot of showers. Should institute a hose pipe ban. Just to conserve our precious water resources. Um, is anyone going to this high school? Oh my god, 604 people. Okay, that's uh that's pretty good. They're probably busting in from Shelbyville and everything just to be here. So that's good of them. That's um, very positive. I need to put something in here. This feels like a big waste of space just having all this uh, empty space in the middle of the estate. I should like put a road through the middle maybe and uh, yeah, actually. Why am not I doing that? Where will it go? Here, I think just to create maximum damage when I demolish people's houses and um, oh I keep doing that I keep forgetting to select residential but yeah a few residential zones along there that'll keep everyone happy that'll hold the little SOBs as they say in the business um, oh what's that I think there's people moving out I don't think they're happy with their new neighbours here look population minus 47 that's not good. We need more people here, not less. Um, how much is it for another school? Ten grand. That's pretty cheap. I mean... I could b probably, like, buy a couple of schools with my year's salary. Well, if I didn't have to pay taxes and stuff. I like how everything in this game is, like, good value. Um, what's this? Organic food. Okay, they're giving up on the new agey stuff now, I guess. And um, maybe this will see a return to traditional um, scientific values in the city of Ninjatropolis. Now, where's Shelbyville School? Will, of course, go over here, I think. Look, there's a big empty spot here. I think this is perfect for a school. Um, 
Let's just fast forward so I get enough money. There we go. Let's plonk one down here. Sorry, I'm destroying someone's house that they have literally just built. But it's worth it just to get these people educated. And I've, I need police and fire stations as well, which I've forgotten about. Um, I guess I'll work on those. Population is going up again, so that's positive. We're on the rise. We need more educated workers everywhere, I guess. So we need more schools, even more. Because, okay, we have a population of over 2,000 and we're only educating like 650 to high school level. We need <clears throat> we need another high school. We need, oh my God, the industrial area is on fire. Garments Limited is burning down. Um, oh no, the firefighters are putting it out. Is Connor here? Little Connor Graham. Leighton Ward, Charles Walker. No, oh my God, where is he? I hope he didn't die or anything in a, in a different fire. That would be pretty tragic. He was a cool guy. Uh, what can we do here? Can we put some decoration in here? Let's uh, put in... What What kind of trees are there here? Lots. Or, oh, parks. Can I put a park in? No. I guess not. Look, they come in all the sizes of the rainbow. Um... Yeah, let's put in a few trees back here. There can be a bit of a forest. Um, a different kind of tree as well. Some of these. Maybe a few of these. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. They've got a little uh, forest behind their house. Just to keep the environment all green and friendly. I should do that behind all the houses, actually. Really make this a nice sort of leafy place. But yeah, for now, that's pretty good. Uh, busy corner area. Oh, busy corner shop has been abandoned. Obviously not so busy. I don't know why they'd lie in the name. Maybe that's why they're not getting any business. Because we don't like liars in this town. We like our citizens to be truthful. Um, we need 12 grand for a fire station. We get very, very reasonable price for a full fire station. Is that covering the salaries of the employees and everything? Because that seems like ridiculously good value. I'd be a fool not to build one. So yeah, let's stick one of those in once we've hit 12 grand, which will probably be in a week according to my weekly income. Um, wow. And we've still got so much demand for people to live here. I just... I'm so happy about this. People are loving Ninjatropolis. And the traffic problems haven't been quite as dire as I imagined. Okay, the trucks are getting a little backed up over here. But we don't need that much to change too soon. All glory to the Hypnotoad. Oh my god, is Hypnotoad in town? I'm a big fan. Um, crazy. Okay, we've got enough for a fire station. I'm going to stick another one down here. Um, oh, in the middle of their scenic green? No, I don't think so. That would just be... That would spoil the area. I'll put it out over here, because there's nothing built here yet. So, yeah, that's the area covered. Well, Shelbyville, you're not going to burn down, which is probably the best thing I can say about your area. You still might get stabbed to death, though, because there's no police coverage. But, um... If you live in Shelbyville, you probably deserve it, because it's the kind of housing only criminals would buy. All good-hearted people live over in uh, Ivy Heights, or whatever we're going to call it eventually. Um, oh, look. What on earth is this? The Florence residence. Oh, a level three residence. They're really happy in here, I guess. That's brilliant. Oh my god, and look, there's a playground. That's because they're across from the school. They've run in and they've learned all about solar panels and installed them on their roof and everything. Is that the school? It is, it's St. Pigeonita's. Oh, they're doing good work in there. What are these? What's this? Relocate building. Oh, I can move it about if I need to. Oh, this is cool. This corner is the nice part of town. This is just all the... Oh, well, there go the police off to... Uh, stop a stab in or something. Okay, maybe it's not that nice. It's the nicest part of town. Just right here. 
Oh look, there's someone on the stoop there. Is that stoop kid? Is he afraid to leave the stoop? Carol Adams, AKA stoop kid. She lives at the Emerson residence. No one has the same surname as the house they live in. That's a little bit weird. Maybe it's the surname of the house itself. Maybe they're um, biological houses that are born rather than built. They do seem to just spring up out of the ground. Anyway, I think that's probably enough for today. We've made a good bit of progress. Um, we've built Shelbyville. We've got a couple of fire stations down. We've got a police station, a high school, and a second elementary school. This little industrial block has gotten crazy big. The dump is 34% full. We're going to need another one soon. We're, we've switched to from clean wind power to horrible polluting coal power. Overall, I think this has been a massive amount of progress for one day. So, I guess I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time. Remember to leave your name suggestions in the comments. And, um, well, that's it for me. Goodbye.